Hello, it's the gallery here. Hi, Sai. Hello, Cyrus. I'm trying to figure out uh, where you put the light when you're trying to make a video. I think it's supposed you're supposed to be facing the light, but anyways. Oh my goodness, I you're gonna be too hot there. I feel like a school teacher. Hello, it's it's your teacher. <laughs> Hello, it's your teacher Valerie. You know, I was thinking, like last night I could not sleep. My 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 mind was running. Like, oh my shoulders are killing me. I must have been doing this all night. Because wow, my shoulders really hurt. But I was thinking, um Did you ever think back about your childhood? And I was thinking about In the neighborhood they all scoop down you know and they have like a wash in the middle and so like it was raining really hard and, and it froze and I got those ice skates on and was skating up and down the alley for hours up and down up and down and the uh, the water well the rain it was raining and it was freezing as it was raining and my hair formed these dreadlocks all over my head and they were frozen. I just had like frozen icicles all over my head, skating up and down the alley, just having the time of my life. And I remember like none of the little girls came out, but all the little boys came out to just, you know, put on their shoes and slide up and down the alley in their shoes. I had ice skates on. And um, it's just funny how things like that stick in your mind about things that were like just like really fun and silly. And I feel sorry for kids today because it doesn't seem like they have any fun. Whenever I, you know, approach a, a kid, you know, say, hey, what's up? You know, when they're with their parents being pulled in a wagon or, you know, um, you meet you meet kids out at like, you know, some, you know, somebody's house or whatever, you know, at a, some kind of party or event. And you try to talk to like a eight year old, 10 year old, 12 year old, 14 year old. And they always have this like freaking crazy look on their face, this snarl, like, <laughs> don't bug me you know they, they don't want to talk they, it's very strange to me because that's something else as a kid I love to talk I love to talk more as a kid than I do as an adult but uh, yeah I just feel sorry for kids they, they they seem like they're I heard something yesterday that I heard some two guys talking, Elisha Schaefer and John Doyle, and they were talking about how kids are immune to, like, catastrophe, and I wonder if, it, you know, I, I don't know why, I don't know if it's, you know, just because you, because they, you know, social media, that they watch so many videos and video games, what it is, but that when there's some kind of catastrophe, 
they meme about it, you know, or they TikTok about it. It's just in one ear and, and out the other. Whereas people, like I'm a boomer, of our generation, it seems like we, we hold on to it. And um, are more traumatized by it. And what is the word? Yeah, we're affected by it. And whenever the event date comes around, we feel melancholy about it, you know? And I guess kids today don't. It's, it's just something that happens. And like they said, they meme about it. They joke about it. So, I don't know what, what our future's gonna be like if we're gonna have any future. So that was age 11. <laughs> one of my neighbors said one day, when I'm walking around the block, I always got, I always have something to say. And uh, <laughs> he's like, thanks for bringing the mood down. Oh. <laughs> and then I have to cap it off with something more. But you know, hey, we live in a tragic world. It's the end of the world, people. Do you know it? It's funny because I can just sit outside sometime and uh, just smell the air. And the air will take me back to a certain time. So it's always in the air. It's like... I don't know, it's just it's quantum physics. It's particles. <laughs> it's always in the air. It takes it just takes a few minutes, you know, and I'll I'll sit and I'll start kind of meditating and be quiet. And then the air whips around me and it's well not so much the smell, because it, it's not a smell, it's a very gentle, like going into like a little trance. And when I'm in that state, it's always like deja vu and it always takes me back to a time of getting out of a pool or, you know, putting baby oil on or, um, it's like that. It's, it's always in the air. I just feel like I live the same day over and over and over again, but just, uh, different clothes and more wrinkles, but pretty much the same day. So maybe we do. I mean, you, you hear so much about, or I've read in different, uh, articles about parallel universes. Maybe, you know, we're in many, 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 many universes at the same time. Who knows? I hope not, but who knows? Hey, Sai. Come here. Come up here and get, let me have a picture with you. Sai dog. Let me get my Sai dog and uh, get a picture with him. Look at this dude right here. Let's look at this guy. Hey, Sasha, let's get right here. Stand right there. Want to sit right here? Look at this dude. Yeah. Look at this dude right here. Yeah. Look at this dude right here. Yeah. Look at this dude right here. Yeah. This is my, this is my man right here. Sorry, dog. I've never taken pictures with my dogs. Oh. Street is really busy. Hey, do you hear all this traffic? The price of gas, like downtown LA right now, seven twenty nine, seven twenty nine a gallon. Here in Burbank, uh, six thirty five, and uh, everybody's out just cruising around. Doesn't seem to affect people. A higher gas price doesn't seem to affect people. It's a holiday weekend. I think 
it's, I don't know, it's Memorial Day. Look at this, hi. Look at this, dude. Just me and my dog. Just me and my dog. Just me and my dog. Cyrus. Just me and my dog. Cyrus. I love flags. I have this flag on my hat today. At one time I wanted to have a whole room of everything flags, you know, flag pillows and this is back in the 80s. Flag pillows, a jean couch with flag patches sewn onto it, carpet with flags. I, just, I love flags. I love the colors. I love this blue, the intense blue, the bright white and the color of red. It's like that red blue. But my favorite color is yellow. But I love the flag. It's funny, I watch all these like old videos on YouTube of people, especially like in the eight, 18, late 1800s, early 1900s trying to think of mm. so when they're going around with a movie camera the women have their bustles and they're so probably 1920s I would I think 1920s and the men are all in New York City with their uh, suits on suits and hats and little boys with the suspenders and the you know the suspenders and the shorts and the little like white button-up shirts and I always think were they thinking the same things that we're thinking you know just about you know chores and eating and relationships and weird. I mean, they're always like laughing and giggling and like shying away from the camera. Some people want to see the camera. Some people want to, you know, be in the camera. They're looking at it. They're, they're curious about it. Something new at that time. But, um, yeah, I always think it would be so interesting if we could leap back and forth and, and have conversations with people in different time periods like that. It's weird. People tried to get me to go on YouTube in 2007, and I was like, there's no way. You know, um, my puppy, I had little puppies, and you should start a YouTube channel with your dogs. I had four dash hounds at the time, Kipper, Bear, Ems, and Cy. And, uh, yeah, I wanted no part of it, and now I wish, wow. All of the things that have happened, I would love to have all of that on video. So, I'm doing it now. Now is better than never, right? Can always start again. It's a thing, it's always a new day. Do something different, try it over. And yeah, this is, my, this is my guy, he's got itchy ears. He's got some really good ear meds though, called, I think they're Dr. Not Dr. Bonner's. You're gonna have to look at it, but it's oh, got uh, some herbs and herbs, oils, and uh, just 
syringe it into their ears, and it's the only thing that has ever, he's been all, all kinds of ear meds in his life. Nothing ever worked, made, made his situation worse. But this, uh, I'll, I'll get it on some video, I'll show it in case you have dogs and they have ear problems. It works. It's about maybe $11 a bottle, and um, it's the only thing that's ever worked for his ears. And the, the, like the yeast buildup, the brown goo, all of that stops when you do it. Right now he has itchy ears today because I haven't done it. You don't have to do it every day. You do it for like three or four days in a row. It says 10, but you don't need to do that. It's just to get you to buy more product. And you don't have to use a whole syringe, just a, just a little, like maybe a quarter of the syringe. And um, I'll do a video. I'll do his ears and show you because you know there's nothing worse than when a dog has ear problems and they, they can't stop itching. And uh, this product really, really works. So so glad to find it off of Amazon. I probably already said that, but not sponsored. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys are having a, a great day and uh, thanks for watching my videos. People always say this and I think it sounds so corny, but give it a thumbs up. Write me a comment. I have a we got a surprise today. Uh, Glenda Sully, one of my favorite YouTubers, left me a message, and that was really exciting. And um, I have someone, Curiosity, who is uh, corresponding. Seems like a really smart person, and um, it's fun. It's fun to have some correspondence. People don't leave me messages for some reason. I get a few on, um, they send them to like my personal email, but not on my YouTube videos for some reason, which that's weird. Or maybe I just don't have my settings correct. I don't know. But anyway, I enjoy uh, reading the comments. So if you want to say something to me, please do. Um, if you have any stories or dog stories or anything that you want to talk about, do. And I will get back to you. So, okay, you guys, uh, thank you for watching my video and hanging out with me, and I'll see you soon. Bye.